John Moore decided early in his 38-year airshow career that he would not upgrade his stock Stearman to the more common 450 horsepower engine. Instead, John Moore studied and experimented with energy management, sequence design, and ground effect. He bought every book available on aerobatics. He went to shows and carefully observed those pilots that he sought to emulate, like Bob Hoover, Art Scholl, Dwayne Cole, and Bob Hoover. And then John set about combining that knowledge with his own remarkable skill as an aviator to create an air show act that was entertaining to audiences and awe-inspiring to other pilots. The result was masterful. There is quite simply nobody in the world who can fly a Stearman like John Moore. For a time, he offered his customers a J3 comedy routine in addition to his Stearman. And his plane to helicopter transfer act with Roger Bias was the rage within the North American air show community for several years. But for John, it was always really about the Stearman. He kept the plane right in front of the audience for the entirety of his 12 minute act. The tops of his looping maneuvers seldom went higher than four or 500 feet. And even in an environment where low level aerobatics are common, John Moore spent an inordinate amount of time very, very close to the ground to the delight of millions of air show fans throughout the United States and Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in welcoming the newest member of the Air Show Hall of Fame, John Moore.